Hey guys, I'm Myra, and today we're making cheesecake stuffed French toast three ways. So we're gonna get started making our bread. Um, I am using the base to my almond bun recipe. I'm gonna link it here. It is a little different. This is, you can use it for sandwiches. You can use it for like a peanut butter and jelly. This here is gonna be used for our French toast and we are using a different ingredient for it, which I'm gonna show you right now, but make sure you check it out if you do need a um, bread substitute. So here we have our almond flour. As you can tell, it is fine almond flour. Now we're gonna do our sweetener. So this is just powdered sweetener. Um, we have a little pinch of salt and then we have our baking powder. Okay. Oh, we have cinnamon. So we're only going to use half because we're going to save half for the, for the uh, top. Okay. So now mix that together. You guys stay tuned because you seriously don't want to miss this. It's one of, um, yeah, it's great for breakfast for um for snack like if you love sweet like a sweet um treat with your coffee right here my mom seriously is like obsessed with this recipe it actually gets like a nice caramelization on top um in when you go to a bakery and you see those um, muffins like those really big muffins they usually add honey which is what gives it like that golden brown color and that crust like that nice little like crisp around um, well, this, this one will have it and I'm going to show you, but obviously we don't use honey. It's low carb, keto friendly and, um, seriously delicious. But the magic ingredient here is the oil. So we're using avocado oil instead of butter. So, you know, it's healthy fats. You don't have to feel, you know, guilty about the oils that you're using because I don't know if you guys know this, but oils are super inflammatory. Like, especially if you're using, well, not all oils only like canola, vegetable oil, um, grapeseed oil, like the, all of those oils actually cause your body to have inflammation. And, um, this one doesn't. So anyway, we have avocado oil. We have our vanilla, our vanilla. We're adding some maple extract here. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this bread is everything. Okay, so our batter is done. Now let me show you how I'm going to bake this. So we have our little um, loaf, a little loaf pan lined with aluminum. So you wanna line it with aluminum because this is gonna help cook it a little slower and evenly. And that's like really important, obviously when you're cooking bread. Um, so we're gonna line that and we're just gonna spray it. So you spray it so it's kind of like a little glue for your parchment because if not it goes all over the place. So then you just put that down. And you're just going to do this as best as you can. I mean it's not going to always be perfect but um, it's just going to make it a lot easier once the your bread comes out like to you know pull it out. Now we're just going to pour it into our mold. Nice and thick, beautiful. And you're gonna to wanna to fill this all the way to the top because this recipe doesn't rise. And so you wanna get your full slices. I'm just going to sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Make sure that your oven's preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes, okay? And I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay guys, so while our bread is cooking, we're gonna get started on our preserves. So this is probably one of my favorite things to make. It's made with fresh fruit. So it has, yeah, it does have some natural occurring sugars because obviously fruit does. So we're doing raspberries. You can also do blackberries, strawberries. I don't know what your favorite is. Um, I love probably strawberries and raspberries the most, um, but you know, you can do whatever you like. I don't know what your favorite fruit is, but if you've already tried making it, you know, let us know any tips down below. We're gonna do our um, powdered sweetener. If you have granular, you can still use that. I just like using um, powdered for all my stuff. So just toss that on top. Um, and then we have our vanilla. So just some vanilla flavor. So the lemon juice actually helps preserve the preserves. <laughs> so um, it won't spoil as quickly. So we're just adding a little tiny bit of that. And this is what it's gonna look like. It looks all chunky. You can see everything just kind of sitting on top. That's what it's gonna look like, so don't worry. You put it on your stove top. So let's go move over to the stove and you're going to see the process. It's actually really awesome. It's like, you don't have to do much to it. And this is delicious. 
so much better. It tastes so much better than anything that you can buy at the store. I'm telling you right now. So we're going to start with a medium low heat and we're just going to let it boil. So now that it's boiling, we're going to lower the heat and now we're just going to let it simmer. And you do want to stir consistently because you don't want it to get stuck onto your pot. So now we're just going to set it aside and let it cool. We're going to get started with our filling. It's really important for your ingredients to be room temperature. This is what the cream cheese should look like. Okay. Let me show you. Like, looks like brie cheese. Like. So it's nice and softened. I actually just threw it in the microwave for a few seconds. Um, you don't want it to get too hot because then it gets kind of runny. Not runny, but you know what I mean, like super soft. So like this is perfect. Just where it looks like a, like a spreadable cheese. Now we're just gonna add in all of our ingredients. We have our vanilla flavor. Boom, boom, boom. We have our heavy cream. So we're adding lemon juice because cheesecake has lemon juice in it. And we are trying to, the filling, it's mimicking like a cream cheese filling. So now that we have this mixed, we are going to toss in our sweetener. And remember, just powdered sweetener. So you just want everything to, you just don't want any clumps because this is what's going to go into your French toast. See how it's nice and smooth. Beautiful. looks like a custard almost. So we're gonna add a pinch of salt, just like a little mini, mini, mini. Cause the salt brings out the flavor and it's just a great balance. Whenever you're using, um, you know, sweetener in a recipe, it's always good to throw like a little tiny pinch of salt because it just brings out the flavor. So I added a little pinch of salt. cheesecake okay so we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start stuffing our french toast okay so i got the bread out of the oven i let it cool for a few minutes and then sliced for our french toast batter we're gonna use our almond milk and let me know if this is how you make your traditional french toast okay this is cinnamon so it's just gonna go in a little nutmeg okay and vanilla. So we always like to add vanilla because vanilla, especially with like baked goods, it just gives it a really good flavor. Okay, so we're gonna start off with these two little slices and you're just gonna use as little or as much as you want, but here comes some cheesecake French toast. So we're just going to finish filling these up and then I'm going to show you how we actually cook them. Okay, so I have some extra strawberries here. We're going to get real creative and make this a strawberry cheesecake French toast. So we're actually just laying out our strawberries on here. Look at that. So cute. And we're going to do just a real thin layer on this side so that it kind of um, sticks, you know, a little thin layer Put it on here. Wow, it's so good. Okay, and for the last one, we're gonna use some of our raspberry preserves. And we are just going to lay a little layer in here. Right in the center. So exciting. Okay, so everything is on my board. Let's go ahead and move over to the stove and cook these. Now for my favorite part of this entire video, we're about to do the taste test. So you know we ended up doing the, um, this has the fresh strawberries. This one over here is the one that has the berry, the raspberry preserves. We're just, I already cut this one, so we're just gonna 
do the taste test on this one with the fresh strawberries. Alright, let's go. Mm. It's just like a restaurant style French toast. Like, you know when you order a, a plate of French toast, it just has that, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it, but if you love French toast, you have to try these. You're gonna love them. This is gonna be like your go-to recipe. Um, I haven't tried the others yet, but this one that has the fresh fruit in there really hit the spot. It's like, I don't know, it's just like the combination of everything was perfect. Um, I did use the Chalk Zero Maple Syrup. It's nice and thick. I love it. Even if you're not keto, it's a great alternative to regular um, syrup because there's no sugar added. It has like one net carb per serving. So I'll leave it linked down in the description below. Low carb love at checkout gets you 10%. So I'll link that for you guys. But any one of these that you decide to make, you are going to be obsessed. The filling inside, it makes it taste like you're having a little cheesecake, like a cheesecake French toast. It tastes like dessert, um, but you don't have to feel guilty. It's gluten-free, low-carb, keto-friendly. So you guys have to try this. Let me know if we should make like a Nutella French toast. I even thought like a pecan with caramel. I mean, I'm a sucker for like anything with pecans and caramel. So give me your recommendations. What should we make next? Comment down below. I'm actually gonna leave this recipe linked in the description below. It's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're actually gonna be able to print out this recipe along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else. So make sure you check that out. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you are following me on Instagram and on TikTok. I just share more recipe ideas and a glimpse into my everyday life. Thanks for being here with me. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Mwah. Now I'm gonna go and enjoy my stack. I'm not gonna eat them all but I'm gonna go enjoy this. <laughs>